All right, so um, if you can see my screen, I'm currently sharing my browser, right? So basically I'm going to navigate to the um, uh, URL google.com slash uh, sheets. Okay, so let's, um, let's pick it up from here. Um, so this is Google Sheets, right? And uh, of course I, I have a bunch of documents, uh, you know, created already, uh, a bunch of spreadsheets uh, created already on my Google Sheet account. Um, but of course you can always, um, you know, uh, uh, switch your accounts. You know, you can you can you can actually navigate from one account to the other. It's quite simple uh, if you have any experience using uh, Google Docs, right? So you can see we have Google Docs, Google Sheets, slides, and forms uh, right here on this uh, navigation uh, section. Um, before before I go into details, you know, I just want to make you understand. You know, why did we really outline Google Sheets or Google Docs? Um, I think it's it actually depends uh, on the uh, company's uh, uh, preference. You know, we, we try to show you a bunch of alternatives uh, because we believe that uh, depending on the company or the organization you're working for, uh, they might have their, you know, their respective uh, preferences. So let's take a look at uh, Microsoft uh, Excel. Excel. Okay. So uh, we can navigate down to this place using Microsoft.com. Um, yeah, probably just navigate from the website. I think you, you can click on products and uh, I'm sure you can also uh, check out Microsoft Office, you know, right here. We have Microsoft Office right here. Um, or you can even go for the option of, uh, you know, Office 365. As a matter of fact, you can use some of these uh, services online, right? You can use Excel online as well, just the same way we're using uh, um, Google Sheets uh, online. So let's check that out. Uh, but uh, let's see if we can try this online for okay let's see microsoft excel so office.live.com okay let's let's check that out um of course microsoft uh, products are actually older you know in terms of um, um, availability in the market right so you can always install this as a desktop app, but uh, more recently applications are moving to the cloud, you know, running on, on the internet. So I think it's, uh, it's quite, uh, you know, easier and accessible uh, by users, of course. Um, they also have a, a, mobile, a mobile application that you can download on your mobile devices. So I'm just going to show you some of these things before we start talking about the details of, uh, you know, spreadsheets. Uh, let me do that so I can say Microsoft Excel, download uh, play store okay all right so this is it uh, microsoft excel spreadsheet and uh, i'm sure for those of you using um, uh, the iphones i'm not certain but i'm going to quickly check um, so i think i would say uh, ios store right Okay, all right. So um, if you're if you're currently using uh, you know your your iPhones, um, I think uh, I can I would share this on the chat, uh, and uh, if it's possible, Amaka or Emanuela, you can help me share this uh, on on Discord. So uh, the link I just shared right now is for the uh, the uh, the Apple users. Uh, the second link I'm sharing right now is for the Android users, right? And um, this is the web. Uh, version uh, for Microsoft uh, uh, Excel. And uh, I would also share a quick link to that of uh, uh, Google Sheets. Okay, so I think uh, I think we're good. And um, yeah, so the major the major difference here is uh, looking at uh, looking at Excel and, 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 and Google Sheet. I think it it all depends on uh, they have similar functionalities, of course, uh, some things are different in terms of like you know, the position or the location of some uh, functions. Um, in my own experience, I have more experience working with Excel, uh, but we're going to kick off with Google Sheets and then we'll later, you know, touch some basic things uh, in Excel. Uh, if, you are, if, you, if you love desktop applications, of course, you can download this uh, from the Microsoft Store. Uh, desktop. So of course you can download this from their store. I think uh, I uh, I keep missing the URL. That should be apps.microsoft.com. 
okay so you can get this uh, you know from the app store uh, and I would also share this with you, right? So you see, we have multiple links, and you don't this this you don't have to be confused at all. You know, we have different links because we have different ways you can run this application uh, on your laptop, right? So if you're comfortable, you can stick to the web. But if you would love to have this on your on your uh, machine, you can download the native application. So same goes for the um, uh, the the Apple devices. So I'm going to quickly say. Uh, Microsoft Excel uh, desktop Mac download. Okay, okay, so, um, yeah, so I would also share this with you if you are using uh, a MacBook. All right, so let's close this for now and let's uh, talk about uh, Google Sheets. All right, so um, just in case you don't have any prior experience, you know, uh, um, using uh, a spreadsheet package, uh, basically what you are able to do with spreadsheet package is to, you know, organize, um, uh, is, to, is to perform calculations, you know, basic calculations, uh, even advanced calculations, but we're going to stick to the, some of the basic calculations uh, during the course of this session. Um, probably you're trying to come up with a table and you're trying to, uh, you know, perform things like, um, you know, calculating taxes, you know, calculate, calculating uh, salaries and, you know, um, managing uh, a bunch of data um, or coming up with uh, graphical, you know, visualizations, maybe like charts to represent that data uh, that you have in there. You can definitely do uh, that with uh, your spreadsheet package uh, as opposed to uh, a document uh, tool like uh, Microsoft Word or Google Docs that you use basically for just, uh, you know, documenting or, or typing, we we'll call it word processing basically, right? So uh, we'll go ahead and create a new document here. Uh, I can hear myself. I think there's an echo on the background, Amaka. If you can do something about that, that would be great. Okay. All right, so let's create, uh, let, let's go ahead and create a new document right now. So. Um, I can, I can create a document by using uh, uh, either of these options. Uh, the first one, and I keep calling it a document, but you know, it's a spreadsheet document, right? So the first one uh, here is to create a new uh, you know, blank uh, spreadsheet. And the second one is to choose from a template. So you see, we have a bunch of templates from a to-do list to uh, annual budgets, monthly budget, and uh, you know, a bunch of others. Uh, I'm going to start off with a, a, a simple um, plain documents without uh, using a template. So let's just click on that. And uh, this is what your basic spreadsheet, uh, you know, uh, environment looks like, right? So first off, we have the name of the file, which is currently untitled, uh, which means I can, I can give this file a name. So I can call this uh, top universe, um, you know, example spreadsheets, all right? So uh, this is saved automatically. So you don't have to use the, uh, you know, shortcut control S for saving. Um, but yeah, you can always click on the file menu and uh, we're gonna to touch on some of these things um, during this particular session today. So I'm going to explain some of the basic things you need to understand, uh, at least to get started with, uh, you know, using this uh, spreadsheet package uh, or this spreadsheet tool, uh, and also to get familiar with the environment. So um, one of the things you're seeing here is uh, star. This is basically used to set uh, this uh, particular document as one of your favorite documents, right? So just like what you do on multiple applications, you can start uh, or you can mark a particular document as a favorite, okay? And uh, the next one we have here is move. So let's go ahead and apply this. The second item we have here is move. And basically uh, with the move uh, option, you are able to move this document to a specific location uh, within your drive. So these documents are saved on your drive. So there is a bit of, a, there's, there's a synchronization happening here. You know, whatever you create on a Google Docs or Google Sheets or Google Slides is basically uh, going to be saved in your Google Drive, right? So that's your online storage uh, when you create a Google account, okay? So uh, you can actually move this to a different location, maybe, you know, create a folder and uh, move it to that specific folder. So with this, we can create a new folder and we can move this document into that folder, right? So that is how it works quite straightforward. If you have any question uh, as I'm explaining, uh, feel free to drop your question in the chat and I would, uh, I would keep an eye on the chat as we proceed. 
All right. So uh, you can check the document status. You know, uh, this is not ready offline uh, because we've not uh, downloaded this option or we've not, uh, we don't have uh, the Google Drive um, application on our system, you know, that would uh, automatically perform synchronization uh, from the internet down to our laptop. Uh, but um, this is going, this is just like, uh, it's the status of this current document. So it will tell you if the document is currently saved uh, if I disconnect from the internet right now uh, it, and, I, and I make any changes, we will see that this document is not saved. Of course, I'm not going to do that, right? I mean, we're using that for our Zoom call, so I won't do that. And um, yeah, so you can choose to turn this on if you want to uh, have this document uh, offline. And I'm sure this would uh, definitely ask us to download the uh, Google Drive um, uh, desktop uh, application. And yeah, so just in case you don't know, Google Drive ha uh, have uh, a desktop application. And uh, using the Google Drive desktop application, you can actually synchronize your files uh, directly from the drive to your laptop, just the same way we do, uh, uh, we use a Dropbox, okay? So um, yeah, we have a, a quick status here telling us the last time this document was edited. So we can always, um, you know, uh, see the version history. And, uh, you know, when you click on this, uh, it shows you multiple histories. If you have multiple people working on this document, you are able to see those stuffs here. We will check it out uh, shortly as we proceed. Um, I think I, I, I clicked on the wrong uh, button there, so I have to go back into that document. Okay. All right. Now, the next option we have here, this is the comments. So uh, people can actually drop, you know, people you are currently collaborating with, right, can drop comments um, on these documents. And uh, I think this is one of the benefits, or this is one of the major things that, uh, you know, made us... Uh, enjoy you know working with a uh, google drive the fact that you can actually collaborate with multiple people so let's assume i want to collaborate with amaka on this document i can actually share this document with amaka right so i can share this document with amaka you know she can join me on this document i can i can actually set some level of restriction you know by passwording this document or probably you know uh, ensuring that i approve her access before she can work on this document or i can also say anyone with the link uh, have access to this document, which means when I copy this link and share this with you, you can join me on this document. You can, uh, you know, edit this document. You know, you can actually, um, um, yeah, you, you can actually work with me on this document. And as a matter of fact, the moment you are on this document, you can also, uh, you know, uh, drop your comments, right? So you can drop a comment. For example, uh, I can drop a comment in a specific field. So um, let me show you what I mean. Uh, let me just put in some values here, five, yeah, five, six, seven, eight, nine, okay? And uh, I'm, I'm going to explain this shortly, but uh, this is basically what I want to do. So uh, as you can see, uh, Google Drive also, uh, you know, gives you this um, uh, auto-completion, uh, which sometimes I would love to call, uh, uh, you know, IntelliSense, but I think I would prefer to call that when writing code. So this is auto-completion basically. And uh, you know, it's able to give us this auto-completion because it uh, believes that we might be trying to sum uh, the values of um, you know, one to uh, six, uh, one to five, right? I'm going to explain this shortly, uh, you know, why we are looking at it this way, but let me just show you this example. So uh, this is giving us 35, which is the sum of everything we have here. And I can choose to drop a comment to say um, the items should be, uh, or this should be the sum, the average, and not the sum, right? So I can drop this comment, and anybody on this uh, document, you know, uh, will see this uh, comment and probably make changes to um, the value or the the, the mathematical, uh, you know, formula used but used to compute this. Okay, and of course, when, when when making a comment, you can even tag someone, right? So you can tag someone. Uh, on that particular uh, document. Uh, so I think that is really impressive. Okay, so I'm going to take that off for now. I'm also going to take off the comments by deleting it. All right. Okay, so you see we can share, we can drop comments. Uh, we still have uh, uh, the Google Meet option. So you can quickly uh, set up a, a simple meeting directly from here and uh, you know invite someone uh, you know, on a call. You can start a new meeting and uh, you know share this with someone and uh, i think it's kind of like a shortcut to you know uh, use some of the uh, google offerings um, such as the, the, the uh, such as uh, the google keep 
you know, uh, tasks. So you see, we have a bunch of other tools here, contacts. Um, and I think this, this makes it easy to actually, uh, you know, import some of the items you have on some of these tools uh, into the uh, spreadsheets, uh, into the spreadsheet environment uh, real quick. So I think that that is a very good, um, uh, these are some things that would make your, your workflow uh, even uh, much faster, okay? So you can always check that out. Um, yeah, so I think before I talk about some of these other options here, before I explain some of the uh, functionalities of, uh, you know, some of these items on the uh, standard toolbar, this is basically your toolbar, right? This is basically your toolbar. Before I explain some of these items, let me first uh, make you understand, like, you know, what are you seeing here, right? Uh, what is the meaning of this, uh, uh, these uh, sections? You know, we call these cells, right? Uh, so these are called cells. And um, yeah, so we call it a cell because uh, you, you can actually identify uh, the location uh, using uh, what we call the labels. Uh, and there are, there are more details to this and we'll talk about that, right? So uh, these are labels, right? So for example, if I have an item here, let's say this is 10 uh, and I'm going to zoom in, I'm going to zoom in on this, let's see, got it. So I'm going to zoom in. All right, this one. Okay, so yeah, so I believe you can see this very well. So um, I have a particular item here, 10, and uh, you are able to locate, the, you are able to get the, 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 the location, uh, you know, by simply following the label, which is uh, A1, right? So A1, this is the location of this value. And of course you can see this here, so you already have a shorthand um, or a short, a short way to actually uh, understand the particular place you are, you're currently on or the particular cell that you're currently on. So uh, if I am on this cell, this is A1 and the value is 10. If I am on this cell with a value of 50, you can see this is C3, C3, right? Giving us this specific location. So these are some of the most important things I think you need to know because um, you know uh, uh, um, this looks, this looks uh, like, a like a table and every cell you have here is uh, more like uh, an intersection between uh, a row and a column. So, you know, when you try to map that out, you actually get an item sitting on this particular uh, uh, section here, which is, uh, you know, three, and on this section here, which is C, giving you C3, right? So this is C3. Uh, likewise, we have a value here. It is, of course, E4, right? So you see, I think uh, it's quite um, uh, straightforward. Um, yeah, so what, what I'm going to do right now is to show you uh, something here. So I'm going to have, you know, 10, uh, 10 or 50. Let's have uh, 30 and let's have, um, you know, 20. Okay, so how, will I, how would I be able to, you know, point every single item, you know, one, two, three, four. And why exactly am I, do, am I, am I trying to show you this example? I'm basically trying to show you uh, that, uh, you know, once you have the uh, ID, you know, or the pointer, uh, you are able to actually, you know, use the value in that particular cell. You know, we're going to use a very simple formula, which is, you know, what I did earlier, the sum. And we're going to try to, you know, add all the uh, values that we have on these separate cells. Now, before you use a formula in uh, any spreadsheet package, you know, Excel or um, Google Sheets, you have to use the equal sign. And uh, you have the, the next thing you have to uh, put in here will be the formula. We have a bunch of formula, you know, and um, I, I, will be, I will be explaining most of them to you. Um, so what we're using right now is sum. And the moment you put in your formula, the next thing you have to then put is, um, you know, the pointer. So you can work with a range. Uh, a range is what I used initially, where you had, um, we, we, we had A1 to A5. So this is a range, right? So you see, uh, it automatically gives you this marker A1 to A5. Right now we're working with a range, uh, but you can also choose to you know, pick item from after the other. So then you use a comma. So we have um, A1 and we have uh, B3, right? And you see we're currently pointing at B3. Then we have um, C7. You see we're also pointing at C7, right? And finally we have uh, D4, okay? So now we're pointing at uh, A1, uh, B3, C7 and D4. And um, once I hit the enter key, you see we're able to compute the sum of these values, right? So we're using equals sum. Uh, without the equal sign, you know, what happens? So without the equal sign, this is simply a regular text. The moment you put in the equal sign, 
it shows that you're trying to create a formula. So we have equal sum, then in brackets, you put the, uh, the pointers of those cells. We have A1, we have B3, we have C7, and we have uh, D4. All right, so this is a very simple uh, example. Um, I'm going to check the chat to see if you have any question. Okay, so there are no questions, which means you're following. Um, so let's, let's continue. All right, so I'm going to delete some of these items right now. Uh, we're going to do a, re a revision in the next class though, right? We're going to, this is just a very uh, basic introductory session to what we're going to be covering, as I said earlier. Uh, let me zoom out once again so that I can uh, have enough space here. Okay, so what I've shown you basically is how to, uh, you know, select this, um, the, the values of, of the cell by following the, the, the pointer or the label, okay? And um, I think the next thing I'm going to show you, before, before we start talking about some other formulas, we have a bunch of formulas, right? You can count, uh, you know, you can look for uh, the product of, of items, you can perform even complex, you know, uh, uh, calculations, you can select ranges, you can filter, you can sort, so we'll, we'll talk about that uh, in a later session. Uh, but for now, what, what are the other things we could do? So let's assume, we are trying to use this, uh, this particular page for calculating. Uh, let's say we're trying to calculate, uh, calculate um, workers, uh, workers tax, for example. So this is what we're trying to do here. And um, yeah, we can make this bold. And this is what we're doing with this document. We can actually rename this document or this sheet, uh, you know, by double clicking on this section and uh, you know, pasting this in. So let's just call this, uh, uh, calculate tasks, uh, calculate tax. Okay. So we can also have multiple sheets, right? So this is just a good way to actually group uh, the operations. You know, the operation we're performing on this sheet is the tax. Uh, and uh, we can actually have a new sheet for saying um, calculate, uh, mm, maybe uh, let's call this um, calculate benefits. You know, so let's say you give your workers benefits uh, at the end of um, uh, every month, you know, maybe. So calculate benefits. Um, we're also going to be working on some examples where we'll show you how to use Excel for some real uh, product management uh, uh, scenarios or use cases. So this is what I have right now, two different files, you know, with two different uh, contents, right? And um, yeah, you can switch from one, uh, you know, one item to the other. You can have as many uh, as many items here as you want. And um, yeah, so I think uh, what I'm going to do is to show you uh, another example. So let's say we have uh, a bunch of um, um, items. So we have the name. So let's call this uh, employee name. Let's just call this worker name. Okay. So let's call this a salary. And um, all right, so here I'm going to say uh, John Doe, Mary Doe, and um, Jeanette or Jane Doe. Okay, so now we have three workers and uh, you know we have their salaries. Let's also put um, the months. So let's assume that uh, this salary is for the month of I'm going to zoom in again. So let's assume that this salary is for the month of uh, September 2022, right? So you can always uh, change the, the type of um, value that you're putting in this uh, in these uh, fields. So we have complex things like that. When we start you know, touching on this uh, uh, format options or maybe making some changes here, you see, we can change the values that should come into uh, you know, the whole of uh, uh, C. We can change the value to say, okay, we want to have um, maybe like uh, dates, right? And you see, this is automatically seen as a date, which means we can actually double click and uh, you know uh, change this value to a date, right? So we can change this value to a date. And when we when we put in a specific item, uh, for example, let let me just drag this. So if I if I should drag this from the bottom here, and that's something I want to also make sure you understand. When you create a particular item on a cell, using this item right here, you can actually extend, you know, the value to uh, fill, uh, you know, the other values at the bottom, and they would all have the same uh, data type, right? 
um, you know, date type based on the fact that this initial item uh, was a date uh, or was a date value. So uh, likewise, if I have one, two, three, uh, four, I can also decide to select these items, you know, and extend, which would automatically continue the uh, serial form of um, uh, numbering, right? So this is a very good feature and uh, it makes it easy for you uh, to automatically perform some kind of computation, right? Um, even if I have, let's say two, four, six, eight. So let's see what we are going to have here. Uh, would it continue that? Yes. So you see we have 10, 12, 14, 16. So um, this tool is smart enough to understand what we're trying to do. And it gives us that, um, you know, the, the, the correct value, uh, you know, as we, as we extend that. Okay, so let's delete this, uh, this, this unused uh, cells. So now we are working with uh, you know the same month basically, right? And um, okay, so I think this is wrong. So this is September, okay? September. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think everything should be the same value, right? So uh, let's let's use. Um, I think we should use thirty instead. Okay. All right, so uh, let's assume that uh, these guys are in different uh, departments and they earn different salaries, maybe like um, 150,000, right? And this is uh, maybe uh, 200,000, am I correct? Yep, and 500,000, okay. Uh, we are also trying to show the, the uh, let's make this bold. So I'm just going to select every item here by clicking on this, you know, this uh, label, this would automatically highlight every single item on this uh, line. And I'm going to make this bold. Okay, so we want to insert um, a different field in here. Uh, so what I'm going to do is to insert a column and uh, I'm going to say, I want to insert this column. Basically, what did I do? I selected this and then I right clicked. You know, uh, you, can, you can even right click directly, I'm sure. So I right click and it's asking me, do I want to insert a new column to the left or to the right? And I'm going to say, give me uh, a new column on the right. And here I'm going to put uh, departments, right? So departments just because I want to show their department. So let's call this um, customer care, customer representative, okay, sales. Uh, I think this should be sales and this should be maybe a software engineering. Okay, fine. So now we have the departments, you know, we have the salaries, we have the months. And um, uh, the next thing we want to do right now is to look kind of like, um, you know, uh, come up with um, some basic things like uh, average. So let's say we're trying to look for the average. I'm just gonna put that here. I'm trying to look for the average. Um, okay, so I think I would rather do that here. So let's say we have tax, right? So uh, what we'll basically do, I think uh, if I'm not mistaken here, the formula to actually calculate this, uh, I'm, going to, I'm going to just perform this directly, you know, with a regular, a regular uh, formula by just saying, um, uh, C3, uh, sorry, that was C4. So you see, I'm actually pointing at this particular item, right? So let's say we have um, a C4 times, uh, okay, now I'm asking myself if um, I really know what I'm doing here. Okay. Yeah, so what, what, I'm, what I'm, you know, getting out here is 10%, right? So, which is 15,000. And uh, what I'm going to do, is uh, now that I use this formula, you see, I did not really put any specific function, you know, like sum. So these are called functions. I did not really use a specific function here. Instead, I'm performing a direct calculation. This is to tell you that you can even perform a very complex calculation, even down to, you know, like algebra, <laughs> algebraic uh, computations. We're not doing anything very complex though. So I'm just leaving it like this. So what I'm doing here is to say the, the salary, which is a C4 multiplied by 10 divided by um, 100, and uh, this is giving us uh, 15,000, right? So let's assume this is in Naira. So let's say uh, probably in dollar, I think that would be much better. So tax in dollar as well. Um, yeah. All right, so we have 1,500 right here. And I can click on this, uh, you know, this arrow as I explained earlier, and I can drag this down here. So you see that we automatically have these items, uh, you know, pre-computed uh, with the same formula we had used here, right? So when I select any of these fields, you see that we have the formula show up here. This is something very, uh, let's go back, control Z, okay? So this is something very simple. You know, I'm trying to show you something very simple. Um, I would explain this better, uh, probably with a different example, if you don't understand what I've done here. 
But if you also ask a question, this has been saved automatically, remember. So if you also ask a question, I'm going to check the chat right now and pick your questions if there is any. Okay, so I don't think you have any question, uh, but um, if you have a question, let me give you two minutes, you know, just go ahead and drop a question uh, in the chat, right? So I'm, I'm, looking, I'm looking at the chat right now. Uh, within the next two minutes, drop your question so I can, I can answer that question before we proceed. If you're following me, just drop a comment, you know, uh, I, I just want to be sure that you're following me and you understand what I've done so far. If you're following, Drop a, drop a comment, right? Tell me if you're following, okay? All right, okay, thank you. Um, okay, so uh, what we've done right now is, you know, it's, it's fairly simple, right? This is just, we have the, the list of items here. Um, as I said earlier, we have a bunch of um, uh, standard, uh, you know, uh, functionalities. And uh, I'm not going to dive into most of them, uh, but there are, there are a bunch of things we could do. We can actually do things like references. We could reference something in a different sheet, you know, on this sheet. So we could actually do even more advanced calculations or computations. We could actually check for, you know, true or false uh, scenarios. Uh, you know, uh, for example, I can decide to check if um, this item is greater than this specific value, you know, by saying uh, if, um, if uh, C3 of C4 uh, is greater than maybe, um, let's say 500,000, and then I can put my uh, true or false value. So I'm going to, I'm going to really explain this in, in, in much details later. So let's assume we're trying to check if um, we're, trying to, we're trying to know um, the, the level of these workers, right? Uh, so let's assume that uh, in, in this company, if your salary is uh, above um, 150,000, uh, you are in the you are in level two. If your salary is below 150,000, uh, you are in level one, right? So we can we can actually do that uh, with a simple formula. We can say if uh, if your salary, which is C4, once again, uh, is greater than uh, that is 1,000. Okay. 150,000, we'll put a comma there and then we'll put the condition. So we have the true or false condition, right? So uh, if it's actually greater, uh, just give us L2, right? Uh, else give us L1. So you see, this is L1 because it's not greater than 150,000. Uh, if it's greater, we're going to have L2, right? So you see, this is a very simple uh, conditional um, uh, uh, statement or conditional uh, you know, formula. And uh, we're going to do something even better than this in a different video. But I hope you're just, you know, at least make uh, uh, understanding some of the things you could do with um, with a spreadsheet uh, uh, software. Okay, so let me uh, take this down again, and uh, I'm simply going to, you know, touch on uh, something else here. Uh, basically, let's assume uh, we are trying to, you know, we're trying to send this file via email, you know, or we're trying to download this file uh, so that we can open this file on a different tool. Uh, you can actually download this file in multiple options. You see, you can download this file as an Excel file, you know, as an open document file. So we have a, a software, you know, with uh, this extension. Uh, most, most, I think this software basically uh, runs on Linux machines, you know, so you can actually download this file and someone using a, a tool like, uh, I think LibreOffice should be able to open this uh, document on their machine locally. And uh, yeah, you can also download this as a PDF, you know, download it as a web page, you know, so that um, it, it would open up on the web, you know, as an HTML file. And uh, you can download this as a CSV file. So these are multiple extensions for multiple use cases. You can share this via email. Uh, you, can, you can definitely publish this and uh, share the link, you know, with a bunch of people. Um, you can also create chats from what we've done, uh, but uh, I will show you uh, that uh, later on. Uh, yeah, so looking at the file menu here, of course, you can create a new spreadsheet. We can open an existing spreadsheet, we can import a spreadsheet, we can duplicate or make a copy, you know, they are basically the same thing. Uh, we can rename this spreadsheet. Uh, I've shown you some of this stuff already uh, from the shortcut right here, okay? Uh, so we can move this document. Uh, we can actually add a shortcut of this document to our drive. We can delete this by moving it to trash. 
um, we can actually check the version history to see you know, how many people have made changes and the changes so far. We can make this document available offline. And of course, you can print this document at the end of the day. All right, so uh, in order not to make uh, this session become very complex, uh, in the next session, I'm going to be explaining, you know, some of these, uh, 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 you know, some of the, some of the functions, you know, some of the things we have on this, on this, uh, on this menu, right? You know, we we'll talk about charts and uh, importing images or performing some uh, functions, you know, some additional functions. You see, as I said earlier, we have more functions. These are some of the basics, right? Some average uh, counts, max, mean, but we have more functions. You see, there are a lot of them, right? And uh, this is to check for the absolute value of a number. Um, so you don't necessarily need to know mathematics to use Excel. So don't allow this scare you. Um, you can you can always uh, you know I mean you you when you are trying to to, to do something, uh, of course you would at least uh, you know understand what you are trying to do before even looking for a formula for that. So if someone is giving you a task to do something. Uh, they will probably tell you how to do it because, of course, uh, you, are, you are not necessarily, um, you know, a mathematician. Uh, but um, uh, if you know some basic mathematics, you know, products, uh, you know, percentage, looking for the percentage of the values, rounding up values, you know, uh, maths, floor, and those kind of stuff, uh, it will be easier for you. But uh, even if you don't know those things, you know, it will be part of the requirements and uh, we would explain some of those things as we proceed. So there are a lot of them. You can check it out. Uh, you can implement check boxes, as I said earlier, so that you can check. You can check off items, you know, stuff like this. Uh, and I would, uh, I would also explain, you know, how to attach a formula to this, right? I would explain how to attach a formula to this. So, um, yeah. So I would explain how to attach a formula to this. But it's, it's, it's quite, it's quite simple. And uh, when, when I explain this, I'm sure you would, uh, you would understand it uh, easily. So we'll talk about some of this, uh, some of these other stuff in the next session. We will also talk about, uh, you know, how to uh, probably format items as currency. You know, how to change some of the data types. I showed I showed you an example with uh, the dates, but uh, I would also show you more examples in the next section. And uh, yeah, you can change your font size, you know, and a bunch of other things. Uh, the text rotation, direction, uh, text wrapping, and even uh, formatting, right? Where you are able to uh, do things like. Uh, Sorry, I meant sorting, where you are able to sort things by ascending or descending order. Um, so we'll do, we'll do those stops in the next session, right? Okay, so thank you very much. And uh, if you have more questions or if you have any question for me, I think, I think we have one, right? Okay, so someone is saying, how do we get the right combination for a function? Uh, I don't get that conditional statement. Oh, okay, so... Um, yeah, so when you're talking about the right combination, some of these functions are actually predefined already. So uh, if we want a function, for example, let's say, let's assume we're trying to compute the average. Um, the average, uh, we, can always, we can always do that. You know, we can always do that by coming down here. And once you select average, it shows up already and it gives you hints on what to do, right? Uh, it, it won't explain everything in total, but when you click on it, it's going to explain, you know, like the, the, the functionality when you click on it, okay? So <clears throat> um, if I select a different option, for example, let's say uh, max, you know, it's, it's explaining that, that, that function as well, returns the maximum value of a numeric data set. So uh, yeah, so I, I don't think it's something you have to be bothered about. Um, uh, even for, the, even for the, uh, the if statement I used, you know, when I click on it, it also explains, right? is going to return one of the values um, of a logical expression uh, if it's true or false. You know, so I said, okay, if the value at C4, which is 150,000, if the value in there is greater than 150,000, the, 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 the value I want you to show me should be L2, right? But if it's not greater than 150,000, show me L1. So it's more like saying, this is our condition, right? From here down to this place, our condition. And this is the true, or false value, you know? So you see now it's false because it's not greater. If I extend, the other ones are true because they are greater, okay? So um, I would explain this more and I believe uh, you, you don't have any problem or you will not have any problem understanding this as we proceed with the session. But basically all the formulas uh, are going to at least, you know, have um, uh, a, a level of detail or explanation, you know, when you, when you click on them. Um, 
But yeah, I mean, sometimes or most times, you know, depending on what you're trying to do on that particular sheet, you know, the formula or the pattern for um, working on that particular operation uh, is already defined, you know, within the organization or within your team. So it's just a matter of, uh, you know, knowing what to do and uh, knowing how to do it, right? Uh, you know that the moment you have a formula, this is how you do it. Uh, most times you are going to make a lot of mistakes. Sometimes your formula will not work. You have to always try to get your formula right. You do a lot of Googling as well along the side. So um, I, I'm very sure that uh, as we proceed, it's become easier for you uh, over time. So yeah. Yeah, so that was for, um, uh, I can't pronounce your name. Okay, so do, do we have any other question? Do we have any other question, please? All right, so um, yeah, so since we don't have any other question, I think, uh, Omaka, I would, uh, I would hand over to you. Uh, as we proceed, we'll understand it better. Of course, of course, definitely, definitely. So what we've done right now, this session is being recorded, so you can always watch this session again. You know, uh, create an account with uh, Google and, uh, you know, open up uh, uh, Google Sheets and, uh, you know, just practice some of these basic things we've done. And of course, as we proceed, we'll definitely get better at it, trust me. Um, so that's all for me. Uh, Amaka, over to you, please. All right, thank you so much, Marvelous. So I, like I said, we get better with Excel the more we keep learning and working with it. So guys, the video should be up by tomorrow so you can go and watch it and ask your questions. Feel free to drop your questions on the Discord room channel. That being said, good night, good morning, good afternoon. Have a lovely day or evening ahead. Bye everyone.